Welcome to our lesson about display states. Let's begin by going to the Configuration Manager tab. In the bottom portion of this pane, we've got the display states section. Let me just drag it up here. Currently, display states are linked to configurations. And currently, we have one display state. Let's right click on that display state and select Add Display State. To rename a display state, just give it a slow double click and rename. Or you can right click and select Properties and rename it from that window. Let's cancel out. Now, Display State 2 is the active state. Let's right click and select Appearances. We'll change the appearance at the assembly level. Let's use a green color and scroll down the Color Property Manager. In the Display State section, I'll apply the color to this display state. And let's click OK. Let's switch to Display State 1. Now we can see the difference in color. Let's go to Display State 2. And now let's click on the Feature Manager Design Tree tab. Click the chevron here to expand the display pane. We've got a few shortcut icons here that I wanted to explain. We can hide and show components, change the display mode, change appearances, and change the transparency. Let's hide Component C, for example. We can do that simply by clicking on this icon. Now let's make Component B transparent. And let's return to the Configuration Manager. Switch back to Display State 1. Let's add one more configuration. Right click, Add Configuration. And let's call it Config 01. I'm going to leave the default options. Let's click OK. SOLIDWORKS creates a new assembly configuration, as well as a new display state. Display state 3 inherits the properties of the active display state. Let's insert one more display state. And we'll make some changes to it. Appearances. Let's modify the color, let's say yellow. This display state is selected. Let's accept. Now we've got four different display states. Two belong to configuration 1, and two belong to configuration 2. Let's uncheck linked to display states. Now we can use any available display state regardless of which configuration it belongs to. Let's check link display states to configurations again. And let me take a look at another example now. I've got an open part here. Let's go to the Configuration Manager tab. Ensure Link Display States to Configurations is checked. Currently, I've got one configuration. Let's add a display state. Right click, Add Display State. Let's change the color, let's say to red. Scroll down and select this display state and accept. Let's add one more display state and change the color again. Let's say blue. And let's scroll down and select this display state. OK. Now we've got three different display states. Let's go ahead and create an assembly document. We're going to drop in three instances of a cube. And here's my third one. Here in the assembly, I'm going to use the display state at the part level. Select Component Property. Double click to activate Display State 2 and OK. And let's show Display State 3. OK. Now we've utilized the part display state at the assembly level. And this concludes our lesson about display states.